Hey guys, how are we doing? We are back playing some more Frostborn. How are we going guys? It's been a while, so much apologies on on this one here about my uploading frequency of this game. Look, to be honest with you, there's only so much that you can do at the moment with um, solo playing and PvE sense and things like that. And it's prompted me to make this video today as well. Um, and this is only in regards to some new updates that have dropped um, over the last week. So we're going to have a bit of a chat about that as well. And see what you guys are thinking about this as well. And just going to let ask you guys a few questions about it. If you guys have experienced anything of, um, of the changes, have they already taken effect? And has that impacted your solo playing um, progress in this game? So we're going to get right into it. I'm just going to do a couple of little bits and pieces before we head off. And I just want to get some uh, wood out of here. As you can see, I've got a bit of a stockpile happening, which is awesome. But I do want to keep crafting planks and things like that, just so I've got some of that on hand. So let's just drop that in and we're going to head out. I'm going to go to a um, to one of the stone uh, zones and we'll, we'll have a bit of a chat as well by doing that. So let's jump out. And so before we get into this, basically, so what they've done now is everything is still as it is in terms of, you know, your zonage and all that sort of stuff. So you still got you know your pvp zones as you can see it's all still very high in terms of uh pvp um uh you know you guys you know more chances sorry that you guys will run into um you know other players but what they've done now is this used to be player encounter chance none and now it's on low so there is a chance and there is a risk that you might encounter someone in these zones that were sol solely just for solo players. And what does that do to us? Well, look, it, it does a few things. So it, it re really reduces our um, ability to freely run the zone without any issues of anyone else running in and um, causing a bit of uh, mischief and potentially killing us. And reports that I've heard as well, you're getting a lot of high level players with um, hard or, you know, pay to win players that have got all um, purple uh, items. Uh, I think it's called the Dragonbone um, uh, Crossbow, I believe it's called. I Don't quote me on that. I haven't seen it myself. So I'm only just going by from what I've read um, in the community server in the Discord chat. And some other videos that I've noticed as well that's popped up in the last, um, you know, 24 hours. So, yeah, guys, it's it's going to be a bit of a pain and an issue now moving forward. So I'm not too sure what the reasoning behind the developers um, thought processing to move to an all PvP game. Like I get the re I get the reason why that they've probably they would have done this before, and purely because you know it is a PvP game at heart, and but what, but where does that leave some people that just want to grind on their own? Um, you know, whether they don't have their own clan yet, or family I should say rather. And, you know, what happens if, say, you've got a, a family, no one's on, but you need to go out and do your own bits and pieces. Usually you would either partner up with your, um, you know, your friends there. And you guys just head out on a hunt and do what you guys need to do, but... What happens when there's no ability to have that anymore and you guys are really not safe to leave your home base so that that's a concern that i have right now and i'm hoping that the developers would look on that hopefully that they're taking feedback as you know as it comes and yeah hopefully we can sort of move back to what we've either had or possibly a, a modified version of that um, whereas, you know, it may not be a, a case where we might get, you know, hassled by anyone uh, moving forward. And, that, and that's what I'm really hoping, to be perfectly honest with you guys. If that, you know, that were to be, at least that, that way, you know, us PvE players will have uh, an avenue or, you know, zones that we can run into and we don't have to worry about anyone 
uh, coming in and, you know, spoiling the fun, basically. I mean, obviously, we're here to play the game. That That's obviously a given, but there's obviously got to be some sort of restraint to that. And if we don't have that restraint, what do we do? If, we get, if we're going to get targeted, you know, if someone comes into the zone and they're a higher level than us, what do we do? We're going to run. You know, there's no point in staying and um, trying to defend ourselves if that's the case. Now, to be perfectly honest, as a disclaimer, I haven't encountered anyone, for, you know, over the last few days since this update's been made available. And since I've noticed that the, the change in the zone has been made. Um, so, look, so far, so good. I'm not too sure what the percentage is, um, you know, that we would have an encounter with another player coming into the zone. You know, that hasn't really been disclosed. I haven't seen it personally. If you guys know that information, let me know in the comment section down below. That'd be really helpful. Um, but otherwise, yeah, guys, let me know what you yeah, think about the whole pretty much invasion of... Um, ooh, nice. Taking that. Perfect. And you don't have to spend any strips on that either, which I have been in the past, so that's probably my bad because strips are a little bit on the rarer side. I want to try and get us, um, enough uh, iron ore as well because I have been processing a lot of um, iron into ingots just for you know other um, uh, future items and builds and things like that. So yeah, good time to come into the zone, I guess. But yeah, I mean, the game sort of pushes you into that sort of element that you guys have to partner up with a um, with a family, which is fine because that's obviously by design and that's what Kafir wants to do with the game, which is totally cool. But that's where I sort of draw a line where, you know, it's got all well and good. You want to have PvP as a whole, but, you know, there's got to be some sort of downtime where you don't have, um, you know, your, uh, your family with you. So what do you do? You want to play the game, but you can't because you don't have anyone here to jump online with you. So, yeah, a again, as I said, that's where I see the um, the problem to this. And again, as I said, it's not to say that you may or may not encounter anyone. There is always that risk that you will get um, someone running into the zone. And if they're a better player than yourself, then they're going to, um, yeah, they're going to take you out because... The comfort was that you could take any item with you, you know, into these zones and you wouldn't have any worry about uh, dying. You know, it's all on you and you can control that. And if you're used to the zone as it is, you know, you're not going to think twice about taking certain items or should I take more heals or whatever it might be. So now that we've got that, con that, that fear, well, whether you want to call it fear or not, that's up to you guys. But... <coughs> Excuse me, it's always going to be a concern. That's how I see it. Anyway, let's just get rid of these guys and I might just heal up. Good time that my weapon broke because I'm going to swap over to that. Heal up on this guy. And I've read where you shouldn't be spamming, eating your food, whatever it might be, guys. So if you guys are doing that, you may not be getting the maximum. Um, health regeneration as well so just a fun little tip so I sort of wait until you hear the eating emoji or the the eating um, sound effect of the right thing to say uh, disappear and then you can sort of um, you know just keep on moving on so <coughs> excuse me the other reason why I'm sort of here as well is I want to take out most of these guys and find uh, as much rope as possible I want to get the meat dryer uh, crafted up and it's probably a good idea as well to do that because I do get a lot of uh, raw meat which is what I'm also collecting and it's better I think than cooking, uh, sorry, cooking the meat so whether you guys feel differently about that I've just noticed you know every time that I've gotten um, uh, dried out meat it's worked out to be a better um, uh, a better health over time food so at the expense of you know your player being more thirsty that's probably one thing that you sort of want to look at but otherwise um yeah that's probably the best thing that i've seen so far especially early in game and the other thing i want to do is get enough seeds as well 
So I want to start cooking the carrots because that the health regeneration on that is a lot better than pretty much all the other food that I see that you can get um, as a free to play player. Don't get me wrong, the process in getting or finding the seeds and uh, crafting carrots is probably one of the longest things or things that you have to wait for the most. But otherwise, um, once you do get to that point and you've pretty much uh, cleared out, um, you know, an area and you've got enough seeds that you've crafted, then you just whack it into the um, into the cooker and away you go. But then again, if you guys want to go out on raids quicker, if you want to do things quicker, it may not be the best uh, play for everyone. But patience is always a virtue, and that's probably you know an important thing to remember as well. Anyway, enough about that. We... And this tax system always annoys me as well. I don't know whether or not once this becomes available, I believe it's still about 80 days out as well before we can actually raid um, the, the tax area so we can claim it for ourselves. Now, I'm sure that's gonna be a clan only thing as well. So you guys are just gonna to have to be up for that at the same time. And if you're not in a, in a family or a clan, whatever you wanna call it, you guys are probably gonna have a hard time trying to claim it for yourselves and myself included. Uh, what did, oh yeah, I had that, that's fine. And there we go. And he didn't even notice me. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've noticed that a lot in this game as well. You can get super close to an enemy and you do not uh, raise awareness of yourself, which is, I find, I find amazing. Because at least that way you can sort of get, you know, up close and personal and you can still do your thing. Which I think is good, because especially if you're not, um, if you haven't healed up enough, or if you are nearly, you know, about to die, but there's something there that you really want to get, and you're not going to take no for an enhancer, I, I guess that's probably a good thing for, you know, for some of you guys, but that all comes down to everyone's individual take on things. Alright, so I'm just going to grab this moose. Okay, and getting a decent amount of food in the process. And I just really want to focus on, like I said, just getting enough iron for myself. I've got quite a bit of stone, wood, as you saw beforehand. Oops, I shouldn't have ran past that. No, anyway, doesn't matter. So, I think we've pretty much cleared the zone, and thankfully no one has actually entered the zone. Um, yeah, which is a really, really good thing. But like I said, there's always going to be that thing behind, you know, in the back of your mind. Will you be unlucky? And if you are, what's going to happen? How much of a higher player is up against you versus yourself? You know, if you've got items that you've either paid for yourself, if you're not a, um, a predominant play to, uh, pay to play player, if you might just want to buy something, if you're supporting the developers because you're enjoying your time with the game and you know, and then you go, hey, he's run into the unfortunate accident that you get either ganged up or someone comes in of a high level and takes you out completely. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that because I do have quite a bit of that at home. So I'm not too really worried about that. My main concern is getting enough seeds. And I should be able to just hit the auto button and we'll just take out what we can. So it's probably going to be stacking a bit of wood. Um, no, no, no. Um, what do I want? I'm just trying to work out what I want to take. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. Oops. There we go. And hopefully I'll level up. Whether it be this video, possibly the next, or I would imagine. And what one thing actually I haven't been doing, and I probably should be doing it, is I have been running in mainly red zones and that's only just to go down in the tombs and the crypts and things like that just to see if I can claim some items for myself and sort of duck out and run away 
but I haven't been visiting or I actually haven't visited a yellow zone yet. I know it sounds silly. I know it sounds strange and why I haven't I've done that in the first place, but I don't know. I think it's just something that I, I really should be doing as well at the same time, especially, you know, if you're early level, um, but also even the yellow zones themselves still have a high, very high risk of um, uh, PVP encountering, uh, being encountered. And yeah, it's basically, you know, if you were in a red zone, but uh, from what I've seen, you do get a lot more activity um, in a lot of players coming into yellow zones because it's not as hard as obviously your red zones and easy to work your way in to try and find um, enough chests and obviously go down in the tomb there. And I believe you get those totem items as well in the tomb. So that's probably something else that a lot of people are more attracted to you run into those zones as well. And I am actually nearly on the borderline of leveling up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to level up before we end the video today. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm just going to drop something back here and I'm just going to just gather it. And that's it. Perfect. And of course I get taxed at the same time. So let's just hit the auto button. I'll let my guy pick up whatever he can and we'll probably call it a video. I think we spent enough time on the subject there. I want to throw it back to you guys. Let me know what you think. Are you guys solo players like me? How does this um, sit with you guys right now? Have you guys had any sort of issues um, of having another player running into a zone? And have they, um, you know, have they taken you out essentially? Be interested to know because obviously if you guys are copying this, you shouldn't, you know, just um, accept it. Um, my suggestion would be is to speak up, let people, let uh, developers know why you feel this way and if you feel that it should be reverted back to how it was, especially if we just want to, you know, bash out a little bit of a, a solo sesh. You know, if you guys have families and you guys want to do a bit of solo running, I mean, this is going to impact you as well. So, you know, a, a lot of people may not be online at the same time as you and it depends on how how um how far you guys are organized within your group you know it's only four people including yourself so do you guys just jump on and hope for the best that everyone or someone is online that you can play with or are you guys organized to a point where do you use any sort so, so sorry any sort of social media like uh discord or whatsapp or whatever it might be that you guys can um say look i'm going to be on who's going to come on with me um, and then, you know, take it from there. If you guys don't have that luxury, what do you do? So with that being said, I'm going to leave that here for today. And I want you guys to let me know what you think about that. Anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, uh, comment, subscribe, notification bell if you guys are new, if you guys are enjoying the Frostborn series that I have for now. Um, otherwise, I'm going to catch you guys later. See ya.